So the hours after you finish exercising are just as important as the ones before. The Team No Nordic riders have a routine they follow after each race in order to manage their blood glucose levels. Thanks to Paul and Chris from the UK who asked us some specific questions about this. Usually the end of a race is very intense and the body is exercising at an anaerobic level. So this means the body is converting its energy stores from the liver and muscles into glucose and lactate. Some of this excess of lactate can in turn become uh, glucose at the end of the race when there's no more muscle contraction and this can cause the blood sugar levels to rise uh, very fast when the riders stop pedaling abruptly. So to avoid hyperglycemia, the riders are encouraged to do a cool down with 20 or 30 minutes on a turbo trainer or just cycling back to the hotel. And this helps and increases the muscle contraction, which in turn will increase the glucose uptake that it's, that it's in excess and will help the riders to get back to their optimal target. After a race, the riders may have high insulin sensitivity, meaning they will need less insulin than normal. So we may adjust meal time or rapid acting and or long acting insulin doses based on this insulinic um, sensitivity. In the first hour after racing, the body is very efficient at absorbing carbohydrates to replenish the muscle and liver energy stores. So the riders will drink a high carbohydrate drink, approximately 70%, 70 grams of carbohydrates in one and a half liters of water and may take a decreased dose of insulin. After their cool down exercise, they will normally eat carbohydrate and protein meals, something like rice with eggs and have a protein shake to help repair muscle damage, taking also a decreased dose of insulin to cover the carbohydrate needs to replenish their energy stores. By dinner time, a meal lower in carbohydrates is usually okay as the body's energy stores have now been replenished. The riders will wait for their food to be digested and their blood glucose to be stabilized and in target before going to sleep. So at night, the riders may check their blood glucose levels with a meter and use a CGM to keep themselves in optimal target. This sequence helps the riders wake up the next day with blood glucose levels in the target range for the day ahead.